and in this uh, video I'm making a sort of dumbbell interchange. It's based off one in Tenerife, so it's a bit strange because Tenerife uh, has a big motorway system that runs around the island, but it's quite tight, so there's, there are some weird entrances and exits, and the way the roundabouts are laid out is very strange, so I just thought I'd give it a go, making a sort of different design. It was very very different to what I'd normally make. So I was sort of like testing the limits of what I could do and what the game could do. Because I was determined to use uh, these, uh, obviously Ronix's decals, obviously, but I wanted to I wanted to use it as the on the on and off ramps. But the problem is it's got to be perfectly flat for these decals to work and for you to still be able to draw decals on them. So as you can see here, I was I had to flatten out the entire area and then draw these out and then put the decals down and raise them just enough so that the decals could like Ronix is a uh, new decals could stay there just right. And oh, it was uh, a was a bit of a pain because I did this before this recording and messed it up and all the decals were everywhere and at angles and it's, it's the one problem with the with them is the inability for them to work on slopes which I guess is literally impossible just in the way that the game works because you can use normal decals but obviously there's a lot of fighting between other decals and they tend to overlap each other especially when you pan around the camera which is a bit of a pain but I, I, I was testing the limits of what it could do and getting onto a bit of what this intersection is like from it, it's very strange a lot of the uh, interchanges and like on and off ramps in Tenerife are very like I said very tight very different there's a lot of roundabouts obviously but this one has two roundabouts either side, which I guess technically makes it a dumbbell. And the way the roads intersect with the roundabouts are very strange as well. They one lane like will sort of split off into the roundabout, and the other one will continue going straight. And they've got a lot of weird uh, giveaway sim. Like they use the giveaway symbol a lot. They even use it when entering the motorway. I've noticed on Google Maps. So I tried to recreate this. It is a bit different to the one in real life because because there is an extra lane, but I couldn't really model it as much as I could. I wanted to, but I tried. There is also a bus uh, pickup point under this interchange, which I did add, and it, that turned out quite well. It turned out better than I expected. But I'm not. 100% happy with how this ended up looking. It's different to what I normally do. As you could see in the um, cinematics at the start, I used these glass decals, which they tend to use a lot in uh, like hot countries in the Mediterranean, in Tenerife, like in Spain especially. Like they use dirt and these glass rock rocks that are coloured. And it gives it very s that feel that is a that country because you wouldn't see anything like that in England or in America. You might see something maybe similar to that in Texas, maybe or Florida, but it is very uh, it's got a very Mediterranean vibe. Even though Tenerife isn't in the Mediterranean, but Tenerife has that vibe to it, which just sort of you know. But the, those, the decals I used were alright. They do disappear at distance, so it is always best to put a uh, surface painter like anything underneath concrete or dirt or even the ruined texture, just so that when you're zoomed out, it looks halfway decent. The zoom on you zoom out relatively close and they disappear, which is a bit annoying, but I wanted to try something different. I used uh, Ronix's decals on the entire roundabout 
because I wanted to use the one way, but I always find that the lanes are a bit small for a roundabout, so I drew my own and made them a, a bit wider. Not not really that much wider, but it looked better to me. That's for sure. The only problem with them, is I should have added some decals on the ground to make it look more realistic. But I was already, I'd already been doing this for quite a while, and and boy, I was, uh, I was getting a bit bored with this interchange as I was finishing it. So I'm, I'm still, I'm looking for the next interchange that I want to build. I'm not, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do next. I, w I was thinking while building this, it would be cool to do a Tenerife style uh, city build, but I don't think the assets are there, and I don't think my level is good enough for the amount of just hills and different undulations in terrain that there is in Tenerife and uh, it made me want to sort of do like maybe a Spanish city. No, this is where I add the glass uh, decals and this one is my like not my favorite color but it's the color that I most associate with these kinds of uh, gravelly glass coloured interchange things is like a red and also add an orange and there is a purple in, in there that I add. The only problem is that they're a bit too bright for my liking. That's the one problem with them. They're just too bright and I don't know why but I, I just find a lot of assets are too bright. Maybe it is the colour correction I'm using but I don't, I don't know. Let me know if you get this. You just notice that I, I know whites are very bright because of just the way the game works, but they just they're too bright for me. I prefer them to be a, a duller color, but that's probably just me. I also use these uh, sort of beigey uh, planter things instead of the normal grass ones, just because they wouldn't have a. Uh, grass because it would be a hot place, a hot country, and it's difficult to have grass growing in such a hot climate. So they normally have uh, gravel or like fine coloured dirt in these sort of planters. The only problem with these planters is they don't conform to the terrain, so to get them to go down slopes you have to make use uh, the prop line tool and just shrink them down. So they're really close, so they sort of create steps, which is, I found, the best way to deal with slopes. It's not perfect, it would be better if they just literally, if they conformed, but these are quite old assets and they, they don't conform to the terrain, which is a bit of a problem. As you could see there, I was adding a pedestrian bridge. This bridge goes all the way across to the other side and down to the bus terminus station thing that's on the edge of the the motorway that is literally where it is in real life just right on the edge of the motorway as far as I can tell there's not even that much protecting people but I put some uh, temporary uh, like barriers there I, I just like the way that the temporary ones look I know they probably wouldn't have temporary ones but I just liked the way that they looked and you'll see them in, the, in a bit well, you've seen them in the uh, time lapse, but they just look better than the generic jersey barriers, the grey ones. I don't know if you if you can tell by the the time lapse because it, I was getting terrible, terrible frames, and just my CPU was going crazy while making this. Uh, this is like the probably the fifth, sixth seventh, I don't know, something about that project on this map, and this map is already too full of stuff, like, uh, it's just terrible, I'm going to have to start a new map, all the people are asking in the comments about uh, if I build these on the same map, most of them are built on the same map, but there isn't much other than what I've built, but the problem I'm running into on this map is that it, there's just too much, there is literally too much stuff on this map. And I'm going to have to restart a map. So the next one will probably be on a different map. 
to help with the frames because I think I was getting 12 frames when it was bad and maybe 20 when it was good it's just from the amount of assets and decals and stuff just scattered around the map because I do tend to use an excessive amount of decals and excessive amount of trees I've hit the tree limit multiple times and I know there's the tree unlock mod but I don't really need it because it just would create load on the on the system that I don't I don't personally need because I'll just delete other trees from around the map. Now here I am getting into the sort of decoration. There's a lot of low-lying shrubs, a lot of uh, small trees, a couple palm trees scattered here and there just to fill in the area and sort of add contrast between the glass coloured rock things and the the road just following parts of the terrain as I, as I was doing this, this is where I was thinking this doesn't look 100% great it looks alright, it's, it's passable that's for sure but I'm not sure I'm going to use these glass coloured decals again, especially not to this extent but you know, maybe I will maybe I'll try it again but I don't know so there's not really much else to say uh, there's only a couple minutes left of the time lapse and then there's a bit of cinematics at the end hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time